Now then guys, I'm Thingamajig and today this is episode 32 of Leeds United's career mode, back in the Premier League. Today, we have a couple of tough games, I know I've said it before, tough games and that. Well, the first one is quite tough because it's Newcastle United away at St James's Park. And then the second game is the Euro League semi-final first leg and that is against Inter Milan at the San Siro so tough game Newcastle I don't really know where they are in the league but it's not going to be an easy game is it ninth so no it's not going to be that easy It looks like it's going to be a second team against Newcastle, which is good for me because then I can put so called first team out against Inter. I'm not doing press conference, but we'll have a look, see what monthly squad report is saying. score can go as well whoa Martin can stay Maya can stay so pulled over can stay Bergman can go. I'm gonna have to train some of these up and move some of these up eventually. So that's sorted out. Press conference next. There's still game a few. Looks like Halkius might be coming out. Issa can go in. Leave it like that, but I'm pulling first team as out. Need to start using some more at youth. Prairie is not having such a good time at the moment. Leave it at that for a minute. I'm going to advance. Simulation. Oh. No look at United States. Mexico.
me set a bit of prayers. Is size anywhere near fit? No. Yeah, we're going with that. Might be able to win the league as well. The only reason I didn't last time is because it scored against me. We hope that don't clash. Broke into the 400 follower mark yesterday on Switch, which has blown my stock off to be honest. When a draw will do for a team that can win the title with a share of the spoils today, and it's live. No way, it will because they, they scored against me last time. Then, welcome everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Alan, looking forward to it today. Yeah, I think so. Martin. So, a point today, and I win the league. With five games left. The match today is Newcastle United against Leeds United. Well, it's been such a great season that now, and there's still more games to come, and now a draw, only a draw will get them the championship. Brilliant. Yeah, they've been the best team in this division by far for me. Oh, thank you very much. My first season at Premier League and I've been caught best yeah. team in the league. It's the kick-off and it's Newcastle United. Oh, on look like... Don't like that. I can't even... No booking from the referee, just a free kick. Mm. Oh, I don't like that. They need to try and get the ball back now. Diego Contenta. Have to get used to looking at shots. Just got a moment to pop over to Alan McAnally with news of a penalty. It's a penalty for West Ham United. He's put the ball down on the spot. And the own goal, yeah, that's what it is. a goal it is an own goal I don't think there's much doubt about that Alan no none at all you're in those positions so often and sometimes it does go wrong it's a frustrating way to go behind in a match when you contributed to the opposition scoring with the own goal good position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a big equalizer here it's come off the goalkeeper still in play should have scored that throw in to come Woods. What about this? That was optimistic. Jack Colback. Getting closer. Counting the seconds here, Alan. So near to being confirmed as champions. Well, yes, they've uh, they've been outstanding. 
during the course of this campaign and not long left before they can really let go and celebrate closing him down this is a well, they're in good well. position here it's offside love to know how to stop my name being highlighted Alexander Zinchenko Woods I'm finding it really true well, finding it really hard to distinguish the two players got to be a penalty away from the danger momentarily but it is a corner following that good tackle I got penalized for that yesterday there's a chance really of getting into a scoring position then but anything but gets his cross in oh, oh! well what a chance for an equalizer that was and he should have stuck that got in to him, tightened up what it Dallas should have stuck that in Murphy back play forward a bit of menace in this attack Murphy and it could be for Newcastle now saw the goal and went for it great move great goal oh dear it's always spectacular when the ball flies into the top corner and here's one to look at and marvel at again well that's taken a bit of the wind out of the sails still in front but conceding might just rattle the confidence a bit. Yeah, and a bit of doubt perhaps sets in. It's always easy to, to get panicky when the crowd get. And here's the shot. Shot blocked here. Good defending. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. And shoots! And the goalkeeper with a textbook. Come save. on, can do this. Keeps the ball in his grasp. Murphy. Jack Colback. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Just the keeper to beat. Given that he tried to place it, he got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option. Should have tried to get some power behind that shot. Well, well, I did in my uh, career He's last time as well. That deserved the book. He didn't want to stop the play at the time and He's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all think about that. Good to see advantage being played. Alexander really stru Zinchenko. struggling to That's distinguish players. Should have gone it back and moved them into a white kit or something. Good. Didn't even beat for this man. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Oh, it's close, Alan. Offside is given. He's quick enough. He doesn't need to do that. Can still Just like this one. Look across the line. I like the look of this attack. Threading it through. He's in. Goalkeeper opts to punch. Opportunity now. No way. And here's a corner to come for Leeds. It should have been at least 2 2 now. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they hadn't had too many chances, and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league, and they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. They are. I mean, they've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it can affect teams uh, in, a, in a less than positive way, but uh, they look as if they're made for that top ranking. We've got some news coming out from Turf Moor from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester United. 35 minutes, please. Let in the shot. Oh, come on. Easy save for Cruel. Good 
position here. And there's the interception. What we get to see, of course, the assistants no don't way. whether that will change down the years. Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway, the replay here shows he's got it right. He has. I mean, there was no real goal scoring chance, but uh, the defense would be pleased that uh, their organization caught him off. No, come on. Into the attacking third. And now the shot. Bounce back off the post. That's a proper old fashioned clearance there from the defender. If you look at the coaching manual, you don't. Here's a chance, the goalkeeper exposed. Little. The shot's on. The defenders managed to get in the way there. No Wasn't way. An opportunity, really. Way off I can't believe <laughs> place shot put the corner in the middle the goalkeeper crawl has kept that out, out they are another corner I've been the... from the corner oh, chance. <laughs> on the frame of the goal <laughs> how many times have I hit the post or the bar well in his sir Pablo Hernandez and he's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle Oh, the come intentions on. of the opposition there too. Oh, <laughs> how exciting is this for them? Still got games remaining, but 45 minutes away. How many maybe, times have hit the post? seeing them crowned champions of this league. Yeah, how tense might this be? But I'm sure they'll want to. West Ham United. Gonna stick with that for a bit. Right, that. Change of ends and the second Should half. Be a bit easier now. Attacking. It they says. Not completed, really. I like the look of this attack. Switch of emphasis going inside. And it's a shot now. Given that he tried to place it. Got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option. Should have tried to get some power behind that shot. Pablo Hernandez. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good, probing the pass. Has to score. Get him. What a lovely death finish that was. Well, they really it needed this, Alan, didn't they? Because now, still got a chance? Well, they have. It was a sloppy one to concede from the opposition's point of view, and they've given the other team now a real chance. It was certainly coming. Off we go again, 2-1. Goal for Leeds United. John Joe Shelby. Stuart Dallas. Just a moment to remind you, if you need reminding, they will be champions if it stays like this. And they're heading in the right direction. Eh? They're doing everything. Wait, what? They're flying pretty well. I thought we needed a draw. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. No, it was supposed to go straight. That looked very good indeed, but the... Uh, more of an angle, sorry. Down. Here's Zinchenko. No! Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. It's, somebody else must it's be losing if it's changed. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Lovely ball. In with a chance. 
<laughs> Who's that, Brady? I thought they were down and out, two behind, but back on level terms. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was, but. <laughs> in this instance, you can't blame him. So it's 2 2 now. Leeds United goal, number 28. John Joe Shelby. What about Leeds' next game? Well, they're playing Inter in their next match in the EuroLeague semi final first leg. And they're not in the best of form, and I think it will be difficult given the way that they've been playing. I think they're yeah. going to struggle. On the attack here. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. I could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. And they cut it out. And that's a challenge that could lead to a chance. Well... It will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Makes the challenge here. It's got to be better. Than Diego that. Contenta. Decision is a throw. It's a fair tackle. Contenter. That's not playing He's because got support it's 2-2. John Joe Shelby. Pablo Hernandez. Oh. Really struggling with kits. I know it's an excuse, but They're I am. Play the attacker in now. Henry Saibe. Manquillo. It's a good cross. Well, at least it won't have one goal this time. Pablo Hernandez. Well, he's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play <laughs> very well. Let's go down to St Mary's, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Southampton. It's been scored. Well, that was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper, running off the defender, but he's run offside. Let's see if I can freshen it up in midfield. Yeah, Zinchenko starting to tie in as always. Is, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Nope, not that. Lose defense as it is, I think. Just leave it for that for now. It is going to be a change here, and it looks like a strategic one. He's going to make a change, and it's clearly a tactical one. There doesn't seem to be any injury involved. did have to cut short Alan McAnally. I apologise to him and to you all for I know you love listening to him, but it was news of a Southampton goal. The score is now 2-0. Incisive pass. Played in the clear. Looking for teammates in the middle. Shot gets blocked. Played so away. Well bad again. Goal. Well, coming to the end of the game, 2-2 still. What about looking forward to their next game? Well, Newcastle United go off the game. Guiding the pass through. Opportunity here. Well, it's 
that's great. It's late, and it might well suit them. Not too long to go to defend this lead. Oh, no, you'd dear. imagine that's the perfect time to get a goal. All about concentration for them. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. Oh, I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. the keeper well they're going to make the change to the wide player the winger and it looks to me as though he's done pretty well Alan what did you think yeah good old-fashioned wing play had the better of his full back for large part a real opening for him get in Matke <laughs> we're all square again and with time running out that could be that but I'm not sure I just feel there's another goal in this and here he was faced by the goalkeeper that was the challenge in you go easy as you like it looks easy doesn't it but i can tell you it's not you have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it well i wonder where we go from here now that we're level again in the game anything could happen Mankiel. Henri saive murphy well they're attacking here might be a chance for newcastle now the shot! You see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide, sadly, for him. Only a few seconds to go, but they've still got a chance to make this attack really count and win the game. Setting up to shoot and getting encouragement from the crowd to do so. And it's back for another Can corner. Get... Corner played into the middle. Cleared away by the defender. And in the shot go! Get in! Oh, fantastic goal and a fantastic time to get it. That could wrap it up. Who's got that? Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper McKeith. did get a touch but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he'll blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. Get this <laughs> what a great feeling for these players. All the graft over the season has ended in total success. They are the champions. Yeah, relief, as much as excitement, and they have been the most consistent side. You can't say... They don't deserve these scenes, this joy that they're feeling out there. And they'll get the trophy at their last home game. They are unstoppable at the moment, absolutely unstoppable. They've won again. Yeah, I know what it feels like. Winning is a wonderful habit, and those players don't appear to understand the meaning of defeat. From West Ham United. Four goals and a strike against goal again. Own goal. Yeah, that's what it is. Two nil down, three two down, four three winners. Just hope I can transfer some of that into the next game. Yeah, Man United Arsenal lost by one, Burnley. <laughs> one, Burnley two, Manchester United one, Newcastle United three, All right, boy. Leeds United four, Southampton two. Crystal Palace nil. Let's do some training. Watford, one. Stoke City one. West Bromwich Albion nil. Tottenham Hotspur two. West Ham United one. Reading nil. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. At the top of the table remain Leeds United with 77 points, with a game in hand on the team below. In second, Manchester City with 63 points. In third, Tottenham Hotspur with 60 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, Manchester United with 56 points. In fifth, Swansea City with 55 points. In sixth, Watford with 53 points. In seventh, rising up the table are Arsenal with 49 points. In eighth and falling are Liverpool with 49 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table, Birmingham City with 18 points. 
And then reading up the table, second bottom, Crystal Palace with 31 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Third bottom, Reading with 33 points. Fourth bottom, see how the West boys Bromwich do. Albion with 36 points. Fifth bottom, Everton with 38 points, with a game in hand on all. the team above. Manager rating is it well, whatever they call it, popularity, popularity, me. Oh, fucking hell. How popular I am. Leeds United, champions of Premier League. Squad. Benches got youngsters on. Zuff is back. Right, we'll leave it at that for now. Press conference. Give Pontus a bit of praise. Above target. Setting up the scouting networks. I'm really debating whether to take the Scottish national job as well. It's Seeming more and more inviting. Whoa. Whoa.
pretty much most of the teams in Europe want me. <laughs> Including City. See, Greece are already got a few moves to go for it though. Greece are already at the next World Cup, it looks of it. Right, let's advance. I'm going to Italy, boys. It's amazing. Oh, a lot of that. Didn't find anything in Scotland then. Oh, did you? I know you didn't see him in Scotland. I don't really need. And he'll send the backs. I've got Salter out on loan as well, so I've got him to come back. Got my keys. And I'm looking at Republic of Ireland. Have a look in Russia. Right. Here we go. Semi final first leg. I tell you something, Ailing isn't moving up as far as fast as I thought it would. And Ali Aski hasn't. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. I've got a good right back coming through at the minute. Alkia, so he can also play at left back, which is always handy. Perisic. Spurs and Schalke in the other half. It'd be quite fitting. Touch wood if I could play Spurs in final because they've done double over me in league and stick them in final. Not that I hold any grudges or anything like that. Need to get Milik fired in more as well. Strikers in both my teams have been well, the competition very really creative to lately. Now, of course, just four teams left, and the scene is set for a great game between two of them here. Which side will get through to the final? We'll find out very shortly, and it's live.
Everybody talks about this as being even harder than the final itself, the semi-final. No one remembers the semi-final losers. It's one of the great cliches of these competitions. Euro League semi-final today. One Can't of these believe teams is going to be a loser, I but the, the winner has a lot to beat to look Dortmund. To. Well, they have and power, isn't it? Get through to the final. It's, uh, it's a hard slog at times to get this far, so uh, he can handle it the occasion. I think Martin better. And today's match, Inter against Leeds United. So many characters who could inspire Inter. We've just gone for him as perhaps one that could give us something special. He's certainly one that the defenders so the top scorers in score competition, but looks of it. Leeds United, we know they're looking good, feeling good. They had that away win recently in their last game, actually, against Newcastle. Well, scored four goals in that 4 3 victory, but enough there to to make me think that defensively they're not good enough that they're going to lose here this is Inter's lineup Sami Handanovic starts in goal Thomas Kalas starts with Miranda in central defence Mauro Icardi is the sole striker today check for you on the Leeds United lineup there's good progress with this attack that's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper Here's Phillips. It's Gray. Lucky. And Phillips. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Has to score. Get in. Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. Malik, it's first one. He's got in a couple of games. A terrific boost for what lies ahead. Goalkeeper is annoyed with himself because he did get a piece of it. Not quite enough. I mean, it's half a hand, wasn't it? But it was well struck and too fierce for him. And it's Leeds United who are now leading. Jan Mario. Miranda. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Now, this looks promising. teammates who are clearly on incisive pass and Borgia Valero's boots have got bombing radar in them looking for Perisic gonna try his luck oh shit by the defender there. And Valero the again Beer. Borja Valero. Team to do anything with the ball in these circumstances. Come on. It out for a throw. Mind you, that's second one one draw now. Almost lost his balance. But didn't. Penalty! And now the referee says free kick. It's all. Well, that's good defending. Could pose some danger now. To put them in front. Oh. It's hard, but not very true. Oh. 
quick header, found a teammate, Antonio Candreva. Here's Phillips. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Come on, Milik, you've got to be Undog stronger. Here. Break quickly when they get possession. Why don't you have your back turned, you great git? It goes out wide again. Looking to use the full width of the pitch, but it didn't quite come off that time. Borja Valero. Play back. And they're moving forward now with real danger. Inter. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Can he take them on? No chance. It was a real opportunity. What the f might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really verge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he did. He missed by it. might as well by a fucking foot or a four Just yard. Switch on the attacking power in this situation. Made the challenge well. Antonio Candreva. It's a super pass. He could be in behind. Played in the clear. They've got the ball back. The interceptor got it for them. Taking on the defenders. Needs to stay cool now. Here's Phillips. He made that look Come like on. a poor pass with a very good interception. Now, Jean-Maria. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. It's great. Well read by the defender. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. So my passing's been a bit naff. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. This with a chance to go into the oh. very, very close, just past the post. Well, I think half the crowd, you know, thought that was going to nestle in the corner of the net there. I did. Perisic. See, Glaze does well. Really in the opposition this far up the pitch now. Playing in this position, but he isn't. Made the challenge well. He's An attacking midfielder. Well, well oh, Neatly little break. Passing again. Icardi. They've opened them up here. It was an opportunity, really. But in the end, way off target with that place shot. Luke Ayling. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Pass threaded through. Could score! Get in! Great moment, they've scored here, and they're into the lead. Just squeeze this goal in in the first half. Time almost up. Yeah, I think we were all, and they were just looking at the ref, waiting for him to blow the half time whistle. Inter are losing here. Referee's had a good look and decided from what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. This is one of the dangerous. With good vision. Inter. Space to try and hit it now. That's a good save. He got a touch to that. Inter have a corner here. Easy save for Vidvald in goal. Well, that was the half-time whistle. First it's in. Of the semi-final and a little lead to enjoy at half-time. Yeah, they might be a little surprised, actually, because they conceded a few chances and uh, got lucky on one or two occasions. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Has to... We will...
we'll continue with that. Exciting 45 minutes in the bag here, but whether the results in the bag, we'll see. Semi-final of the Euro League, second half has started. Yeah, there were some interesting tussles down on that pitch in the first half, and uh... here's the chance. <laughs> they scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Two for him. It was on the day. And two very well taken goals. Just now the Dres been on right side here. The scorer. Jean Mario. Miranda. Borja Valero. I thought it would have cool getting now Jean Mario. Kennedy him being Brazilian. Oh, well in. Now, this uh, is an interesting attack. Ray has been uh, on an annual level. And the whistle has gone because the assistant flag for offside. On a whole new level. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. And shoots! I will take that. Right. Luke Ayling. Here's Gray. <sighs> On to the attack now. Just the keeper to beat. Great chance. And it's a goal. <laughs> well, he managed to keep it down, put it into the back of the net, and the keeper just couldn't reach it. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. Well, scoring nice in any ball. game is worthy of celebration. When you get to, it is special. And he I is wasn't really expecting that this at all. At the moment. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. Got to watch it. Here's Mario. Bite me in the ass. Right. Oh, I thought that would go in. Jammy gets. Cut out by the defender. Pressure is on, but he is managing to keep the ball. He's got a bit of support if he needs it. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Nice return pass. Borja oh. Valero. And there is some uh, backup well, for then. him in this position. Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this. The coverage of the fixture. It's Leeds United, and they'll be hosting Swansea City. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see no, some good football. Okay. Well, it will be yeah, a try. It's gone out that. Of that player there. A switch here for them. In fact, it's going to be a double switch. Two substitutes coming on. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Delivered nice ball. The box. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Well, then it goes. Oh, that's good defending. Backing his own Not such a good cross, but... And he has got some support if he wants to just lay it off. Icardi. Leeds United regain possession now. Could be a chance. Hit. Real opening now. Beautifully guided pass. Very unselfish. Playing well, 
their superiority increased really with this goal. Well, you can only see more goals coming their way, the way they're playing. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all and credit to the team. down an hat-trick to you. Olyoski is certain, well, not certain goal, will it? But a better chance than him. Well, this is a real shock. Real shock. To the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They just... It's a quick break. Surely. Offside. No goal. Flag up. Well, that assistant there, he was certain the flag went up straight away. Well, this must have been very tight indeed. No, but not really. We get the advantage of another look that the officials, of course, don't. No, and uh, it was such a close call, but the defence had squeezed and caught the lad offside, although he took it away well. That's good movement forward here. They're supposed to come Perisic. straight back. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Luke Ayling. He's in. They've unfurled him up here. Not really tested to the full, the keeper that time. Yeah, I think he saw it coming all the way, Martin. Too much time for extra touches here. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Good defending. And Phillips. Could be dangerous. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Here's an opportunity. Ah, I should have shot with. Well, let's have another look at that. Should have shot with very, Vieira. Very tight call. They were in otherwise. Well, when I saw it, first time of asking, I thought he was on. You know, looking trick. at the replay, what a good decision from the linesman that was. Free kick given by the referee. And the defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. Look at the wall. Yeah, trying to sneak an advantage. Sure. Well, with him, you know he's going to go for goal, but he's had better efforts, many of them. I'd be surprised if he is allowed to take the next one after that. Well, we've been locked in this oh, position for a while. Some of my free kicks. The longest period in the game where the losing team haven't conceded. They're just seeing out time, and to be fair, the winning team are doing the same as well. Blow the whistle, ref. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. Here's Gray. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. And the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Perisic is coming forward with some danger. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Kennedy... Ah, lucky. Here's Phillips. Trying to pick out someone <laughs> in the centre. Get in there. To an end now as the referee blows the whistle for the last time. And they're away goals. First leg of this semi final over. A successful first leg. Well, I think they'll be really pleased to have that cushion because they're. Looking for Perisic. Gonna try his luck. I thought that were it. Oh shit, here we go. Pass threaded through. Could score! It's a great moment, they've scored here, and they're into the lead. Happy with that. Uh, Spurs finish nil nil. Euro League semi final first leg. Inter one, the United five. Tottenham Hotspur nil, Schalke nil. Oh. 
Well, guys, that's it for this live stream. I hope you enjoyed the two games that I brought to you. Newcastle game was good because it came back from a two-goal deficit and then a one-goal deficit to win 4-3, so I did all right there. And then an unbelievable result against Inter Milan at the San Zero, 5-1. I cannot believe I did that. The next live stream in this season will be starting with Swansea City at the East Point. Then we will have the EuroLeague semi-final second leg versus Inter Milan at the East Point. So two good games in the next Leeds United live stream. Something to look forward to there. If you did enjoy the live stream and you'd like to see more, hit that follow button. Also opt in to notifications to receive updates on channel activity, including when I go live or a vodcast starts. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, which is at Thingamajig, you'll get tweets with discount codes from my sponsors, notifications of my latest live streams, details of new game clips, and the past live stream playlists that I have on my YouTube channel, which is forward slash Thingamajig. As always... Thanks for stopping by. It really does mean a lot when you take time out of your busy days to come and watch my latest live stream shenanigans. I will try and do better next time. I'm Thingy Magic, and I'll see you in a bit.